Okay, so we are on holiday in Tuscany. <laughs> no, that's not the reason I'm making this video. I'm making this video to tell you about a funny story that happened today and I just had to tell this story because it's so hysterical and I hope everyone gets a laugh about it. Um, I am going to make a video of uh, Rocky playing on the beach and stuff since this is his first holiday and everything, but that'll come later, but I just have to tell this story now. So this morning we got up. I mean, we basically go to bed when it gets dark. So we go to bed at like eight o'clock. We're staying in a camping, we're like glamping. So we have like this little wooden shack that we're living in, but we have like a shower and stuff, our own, our own shower and stuff. But, um, so we get up this morning and um, early because we go to bed so early. So um, Patina was like, let's, uh, I'm gonna run and get us some cappuccinos from the, um, the little restaurant bar on the campground. And like, you get the dog ready, get ready to go. We'll go for a walk. So, um, so I'm thinking a walk is like, like half an hour, hour, but like right out here where we can play with the dog. Because if you go out to the beach really early in the morning here, there's no kids out there and stuff. So we can take him, take him off the leash and he can run around and play frisbee or whatever. So he's exhausted. Sorry. So, um, so I get him ready and, um, she comes back. We have our coffees and we get ready, ready to go. So we get out to the beach and she's like oh you know it would be a great idea and I'm like what so just anybody who knows my wife anytime she starts a sentence with you know it's gonna be a great idea just say no because it's not gonna be a great idea so she's like let's walk down like that way on the beach and um I know that there's like a resort down there we can go down there and have a coffee and um people are looking at me like I'm crazy I don't care I am crazy hi have a nice day um, so she's like, let's walk down the thing and have a coffee. So I'm like, okay, well, do, do you have money? And she was like, they're really staring at me. Hello. Um, do you have money? She's like, yeah, yeah, I have money. So, um, okay. What is a reasonable amount of time to walk to go get a coffee? Like, <laughs> vote below if you think a reasonable amount of time to walk for a coffee is, let's say, 15 minutes one way, 15 minutes back, vote A. If you think a reasonable amount of time to walk for coffee is 30 minutes there and 30 minutes back, vote B. If you think a reasonable amount of time to walk for a coffee is one hour there and one hour back, vote C. <laughs> if you think that a reasonable amount of time to walk to get a coffee is two hours in one direction and back, that's four hours round trip. If you think that's reasonable, vote D. The answer will come up later in the story. So we're walking down the beach and playing with the puppy and la la la, just having a good time because actually down that way it was really nice because um, the beach was really empty because there was a big thunderstorm last night and it was kind of still a little bit rainy and overcast or whatever. So um, it was a nice little walk and then Bettina's like, okay, you know, it's a little bit further. So now I'm like looking at my watch. I'm like, it's we've been walking for almost an hour. And you know, it was fun though because with the dog playing and everything, he's so damn cute. Like we were just having a good old time. So then I'm like, like how much further? Because we've been walking almost out. Like how much further is this walk going to be? Oh no, it's, it's right up here. You see those stones? And I'm like, stones? Like you mean the jetty? That's like another, like a bit more away. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the stones are, the jetty. And I'm like, okay, that's where the resort is that we're going to. Like that's where we're going because then I have my goal set. Because everyone knows I have two fake knees, three herniated discs in my back. I've got autoimmune disease. <laughs> I can barely walk. And if I'm already walking an hour, that's thumbs up to me. And then if I have to walk more, I'm going, like that's that's pushing it. So okay, so that's my goal, like to get to this jetty. So then we get to the jetty, and she's like, okay, a little part of the story I forgot to mention before is we don't have any shoes on. Okay, <laughs> we're barefooted. We have no shoes on our feet. So for the dog, it's no problem. For Bettina, it's no problem. But I have like normal person feet that like, like I can't climb stuff with my feet with no boots or something. Okay. So she's like, yeah, well, we have to go over this jetty. I'm like, well, how in the hell are we going to go over the jetty? We're not wearing shoes. And, um, and we have a puppy with us who, I mean, I'm sorry, but I don't think that French bulldogs are known for their climbing prowess. So, um, <laughs> so. So we get to this jetty and she's like, okay, but I know a way we can get around the jetty. And I'm like, okay, well, how are we going to get around the jetty? She's like, if we go down like here, we can climb down these rocks, cross this river by foot. I shit you not. Cross this little river by foot and then climb up the rocks on the other side. And then we're past this little river thing. And I'm like, with the dog, I we do this with the dog. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
So I'm like, okay, trusting her again. Now, when I say that this isn't the first time this has happened, one time she convinced me to take a gondola up the side of a mountain and we got to, and we knew how, which path and stuff to take back down the mountain, but we got to the top of the gondola. There was nobody at the gondola on the other side. So we get all the way to the top of this mountain. There's nobody in the gondola on the other side. We have no way to get back down and there's no path back down the thing because, um, it's, we're up to our knees in snow, up to our knees in snow. So there's no path, there's no way to get back down because it, everything was covered up by snow. So we're up to our knees in snow. I'm in jeans and, and, ten, and running shoes. We have to manage to get down this mountain. Can't get back down with the gondola and we're lost. And and then we start hearing like, bang, 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 bang. And I'm like, what is that, fireworks? No, it was an avalanche. <laughs> and the, the bang, 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 bang was a tree snapping in half an avalanche on the mountain where we were stuck and I'm soaking wet, freezing through. I mean, my underwear was wet. It was soaking wet, freezing, freezing wet, terrible. The antelopes were running by and the antelopes were like, yo motherfuckers as well, or not antelopes, whatever they were, those weird deer with the weird things. They were running by like, y'all don't belong here. Anyway, so that's what I mean, what Bettina's like, I've got a great idea. Let's take the gondola. Okay, so, so we get to the other side of the, um, the rocks and I'm like, but T like how much further is it? Now it's like over an hour, like how much further are we gonna keep walking? She's like, oh, it's, it's anyway here. Just like, like, okay, maybe I think it's here or maybe it's up there where those people are. And I'm like, okay, now I have to be careful when she says where those people are because I know how, I'm like the people like right there that are doing like windsurfing or those little tiny dots. <laughs> she can only see dots down on the bottom of the beach that's still another hour walk from here. And she's like, yeah, those. I'm like, Bettina, that's another hour from here. We've already been walking for over an hour. My feet are killing me. The dog hasn't had anything to drink. Like that's kind of a long way to walk for the coffee. And we still have to get back with a dog who's, I mean, French bulldogs are not known for like being long distance <laughs> runners or walkers or whatever, but he did a good job. Anyway, so, um, so we're crossing this, so we get, we're, <laughs> crossing this little river thing and so those two are already past the river and I'm trying to um, to follow behind them Patina with the dog dancer so I'm like standing in the river and I'm like it's weird that the river is like going like into the sea kind of it just was a weird looking thing and I said to her I said is this salt water or is this um fresh water and she's like um oh, I'm not really sure so what do you do to see if it's salt water or fresh water? So I took a little cup, like cut my hand and took some and put it in my mouth and sure enough, it was salt water. And I'm like, oh, it's salt water. And she's like, oh, that, that surprises me because this is where the, the cesspools dump in the, I'm like, this is, we're walking over the cesspool thing. And she's like, yeah. I'm like, I just put it, <laughs> I just put it in my mouth. And so I'm trying to spit like the cesspool water out of my mouth. Everyone thinks it's hysterical except for me. We get through this thing. And so then she's like, okay, let's just cut through. Let's just cut through the, the kind of the woods here. And I think that there's a res there's a resort there. I'm like, you know, there's a resort there. Or you think there's a resort there. She's like, oh no, come on, let's go. I'm like, oh Jesus, okay. Oh, it wasn't a resort. It was like people's houses. So we're cut up through this thing. We're on private property, like with our dog, with no shoes on, we look homeless. And um, so then these nice rich people who have like villas on the, on the sea, you know what they have for the little sidewalks? It's not like, no, oh, there's a cat there. I hope you don't freak out. Um, they don't have sidewalks. They have like this beautiful white paved thing made of broken up seashells that we have to walk on to get th through the thing. Broken up seashells with no shoes on. So I'm like, oh, for Christ's sake. Like I'm thinking like, am I MacGyver or something? Should I make some like, rock into the catalog? Should I make some shoes for myself? Because I'm like cutting my feet, I'm bleeding, whatever. So somehow we hobble through this. We get out to like where a, kind of a kind of a street was, but it wasn't like a main street. I don't even know where the hell we were. And then I'm gonna walk. Now I've already been walking for more than an hour, a barefoot, and over these broken like eggshell, like seashell, whatever the hell shell, break and cut my feet up through this thing. And she's like, "Come on, we're almost there." And I'm like, you don't know where we are. So <laughs> the dog's like, oh, this is great. Patina's like, this is great. And I'm like, what? I'm going to hang myself. Okay. So then I, I can't walk on the stuff anymore with no shoes on. It's like my feet are all cut up. I can't walk. She's like, okay, well, let's go. Let's go back to the beach. And I'm like, okay, thank God. Because then at least I can like rinse the blood off in the seawater and maybe like, all right, get that. Don't chase that cat. Or do you want to stay up or get down? 
at least like I can walk on the sand and so I can hurt my feet to him. So then finally, finally, we get to like um, kind of a resort thing. So we woke up and Bettina asked, you know, can we have, this is the one that said she had money. Remember that part. She says, can we go to the, to the bar and have a coffee? And, um, and the guy was like, well, you can go to the restaurant, but are you members, are you staying at this resort? And Bettina was like, no, I would have just lied. Rocky, get your face again. I would have just lied. She's like, no, we're not telling the truth. So they're like, okay, then you can't go to the restaurant, but you can go to the beach bar. We're like, okay, perfect. They have coffee. We'll just go there and get a coffee. And they're like, yes, but you can't take the dog. Look, we're almost two hours away from our hotel. What are we going to do with that our thing? What are we going to do with the dog? We're going to leave him on the beach and like, play until mommy's get back. And like, he will follow anyone into a back of a van. They wouldn't even have to have like dog food. They could be like, you want some cat shit? And he would be like, yeah, I'm cat shit. Like, he'd follow anyone. So we can't leave him on the beach. So what are we going to do? We can't tie him somewhere where we can't see him. So we can't go there because we're not members of the resort and we're not, um, and we had a dog. She was like, but you can go up another hundred meters uh, to the next thing. And then there's, um, there's a beach bar there. So we go up to the next thing and we're like, can we get a coffee? And the guy's like, oh, sorry, we're closed. Okay, now we've been walking for two hours. Oh, I forgot this part. Oh, I forgot this part. After we get out of the, after we get out of the forest and the egg and the, the glass seashell sidewalks and my feet are bleeding and everything, we get back to the beach. I'm like, oh, thank God. Like I can walk up between us. Like, oh, we've got to hurry. Look at the storm. You can see in the, th <laughs> the sky is black. <laughs> you see the thunderstorm on the horizon, like <laughs> raining, like thunder, whatever. Okay, that's coming. <laughs> and we're two hours in the wrong direction. So then we get to the other place and then um, we were like, um, He's like, oh no, we're closed because the conditions, like nobody's on the beach because it's the winds are like, like you can't walk, like, walk at, like, like Wizard of Oz, like the lady on the bike, hee hee hee. And um, <laughs> they're closed. So we're like, oh, for Christ's sake. And he's like, but if you go another hundred meters, then you can go, go to the reception and go around the reception and then go there. Um, and there's a little like cafe there. And you can have a, okay, so we keep walking. Well, now the fourth place we get there and Bettina's like cool do you have, ca do you have coffee I'll take cappuccino she looks at me what do you want? I'm like a Prosecco like don't give me coffee now I've been walking for two hours I need a Prosecco so she's like okay I'll take a Prosecco and I'll take a coffee and can I have like just a, like a plastic cup with some water just some plain water for my dog and and the lady's like yes 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 and Bettina's like I'm gonna pay with the credit card and the lady's like we don't take credit cards so the first place we went to, we couldn't go in because we weren't members of the resort. Um, then the, the second bar there, we couldn't go to with a dog. The third place we went to, we can have something to drink, but we can't pay with the credit card. We can only pay with cash. So Patina, who said she had cash, remember that part of the story? It was like shaking her fanny pack. And it's like, ching, ching, ching. I'm like, this motherfucker brings some change up to the... Yeah, she had coins, only coins. So she's like, 50 cents, 60 cents. Anyway, long story short, she did have enough money in her little bag thing that we could have a, a coffee there. And he, they gave him this, Rocky got a glass of water for free, and so everything was fine. Okay, but now we're two hours away. So we said, okay, let's go. Now it's lunchtime. Like, that, it was starting out in morning time. Now it's lunchtime. Okay, let's go and have a pizza somewhere for lunch because, you know, we're tired. We've been walking for a couple of hours. We didn't have breakfast. We just had a coffee for breakfast. So um, we said, okay, let's go to this pizzeria that's just another 350 meters <laughs> it's okay but before we go to this pizzeria look it up on your look it up on your phone and make sure they take credit cards because i'm not going to get there and then another 300 another almost quarter of a mile away from where we already are to have a to have pizza and we can't pay so they do take kind of credit cards but you have to have shoes to go inside <laughs> Pizza. We had to turn around and walk all the way back to our thing. This guy, look at him, he's dead. Look, he's, look. <laughs> this is my dog who can't move anymore because he's so tired. And that was our adventure of the day. Four hours to get a cup of coffee. So uh, if you guessed the correct answer of the, of the right amount of walking we did to get a cup of coffee, it was two hours each way. <laughs>
<laughs> that was our adventure of the day. Hope you enjoyed that little funny story. And soon I'm going to post a video of Rocky playing on the beach, which is really cute, as soon as I put that together. And I still haven't posted a video of us making our spaghetti sauce. I've got a lot of stuff I haven't posted yet because I've been so busy. But anyway, that'll all go up soon. Miss you guys. Hope everyone's doing well. Talk to you soon. Bye.